I'm Jeremy Smith with the West Alabama Watchman and welcome in for the Keen Chiropractic Post Game Report. We had what looked like a big one on paper, number six Demopolis hosting the number one team in 5A Jackson. And early on, Demopolis looked ready. Of course, they fumble on the opening kickoff that was recovered by Marcus Wright. Tigers couldn't do anything with it. But on Jackson's first possession of the game, Marcus Wright picks it off, takes it back 42 yards for an interception return, and the Tigers were in business. Tigers forced a stop, put together a great drive, got all the way down to the Jackson 16 and fumbled it away on first down. Jackson recovered it and goes 84 yards on its ensuing drive. And Michael Phillips ties the run, ties the game with 58 seconds to go at seven or in the first quarter rather at seven all. And so from there we get what really is the story of tonight and its turnovers. Demopolis turned it over five times on the evening, uh, and it created a lot of problems. A hole that Stacy Luker and his offense just could not uh, could not overcome. Uh, they, they couldn't get, get the ball moving. We'll give you some stats on the night. The Tigers do manage 13 first downs. They run it 43 times for 210 yards. They throw it two time, or throw it 17 times, only completed two of them for 30 yards. The big number, as I said, they put it on the ground five times, lost four of them, and threw an interception. So five turnovers on the night. Penalized five times for 38 and a half yards. A and three punts for 32.3 yard average. On the other side, Jackson amassed 284 yards of total offense. They fumbled it twice, lost one of them through one interception. They were penalized seven times for 75 yards. Quick scoring summary for you. As we said, Marcus Wright opened the scoring with 9-12 to go in the first quarter. 58 seconds left, we had the Michael Phillips run. The big pivotal sequence in the game is the beginning of the second quarter. Jamarcus Ezel puts together a 15-yard run, gets a 15-yard personal foul at the end of the play, but because his helmet came off on the play, he had to leave the field. Backup quarterback is brought into the game. Jackson manages to knock the ball loose, and Jalem King scoops and scores 59 yards, puts Jackson up 14-7. Keyshawn Scott gets his team back in it with a 26-yard run with 8.15 to go in the second quarter, makes it 14-13. Tigers miss the kick, and that's as close as they would get the rest of the night. Tyler Jackson hauls in a 29-yard pass from Demarcus Williams with 3.04 to go and then in the second quarter, and then Kendarian Handy with one minute left in the second quarter, hauls in a 14-yard pass, and that made it 28-13 going into halftime. Demarcus Williams got Jackson's final touchdown with 7.25 to go in the third on a five-yard run, put him at 35-13. Logan McVay would score on a one-yard run with 2.10 to play in the ball game, set it at 35-20. to You'll note in the post-game report, the story of the game, as I mentioned, it, as Stacey Luker will, will, will mention, is... Turnovers. You can't turn it over five times against anybody. You certainly can't do it against a team as good as Jackson. But the Tigers hope to see him again eight weeks from now when they would meet one another in the third round of the playoffs, assuming both of them are still there at that point. It will be an interesting ball game. The next time we'll come to you is from Livingston, Alabama. At Livingston Junior High School, Demopolis goes back into region play, and they will take on Sumter Central. And that's a Thursday night game. Thursday night at 7 o'clock at Livingston Junior High School. And you can get us right back here at the King Chiropractic Post Game Report. All right, I felt like before you guys turned it, started turning the ball over, it really looked like your game plan was solid. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we come up with a pick six couple of three and outs um, and then we get it we launch a great drive you know a, a staple drive for us and uh, just threw it on the ground I think it was first down mm. when we Joe threw it on the ground down there on the 16 yard line so and then what four more ensued after that you know five yeah. turnovers tonight uh, you know we had a big first down fumble in the second quarter on a drive after we after they had gone up 14 to 7 I think well, uh, after that scoop and score well, they had, and, and well, that about, was a scoop and score that yeah. put them up 14. Let's so. talk about that sequence. Jamarcus gets a 15-yard run. They tack the 15-yard uh, penalty on the end That's of right. it. It really looked like there maybe could have been two penalties on that play, but either way, Jamarcus has to leave with his helmet off. Uh, because his helmet came off, you bring in your backup quarterback and then the well, next play. Well, I mean, it's a safe run. It's a safe yeah. run for him, and it's something that we do with him every day in practice. Mm -hmm. you know? We just fumbled, man. I mean, we, yeah. we put it on the ground five, four times, I think, and had yeah. an interception, something like that. So uh, I, I told the kids in there, we got what we deserve tonight. Right. You don't beat a good football team turning it over five times and giving up a couple of big plays defensively. We got what we deserved. You know, it's a character check for us, man. You guys started to, I mean, you guys started to get a little loose with the football last week, and it looked like there was carryover. Um, yeah, yeah, if you want to say that. <laughs> if you want to say that, you know, Jackson probably had a little bit to do with ripping at that football, but there are no excuses. 
when you put the ball on the ground, and that hasn't been an Achilles heel for us. Mm -hmm. We had two turnovers total coming into this game, and uh, you know you've got to. The keys for us is is winning the turnover margin and staying ahead of the chains, and we didn't either tonight. Despite the, the part, so. despite the circumstances, man, your your twos put together a good drive, really against a lot of Jackson's well, ones. We, yeah, I mean that was really just our two backs, but we don't feel like we have two backs, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the crew that we've got. Uh, yeah, I mean we finally got something going right there, and uh, shoot, man, Jack, they kicked our butts. Yeah. You know, our goal now is to win the region and to get back there. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. You know that that's the, we, we need to be playing them again in eight weeks. You know, and, and just see be a better football team moving forward and I think we will be. I think we will be. Short week, quick turnaround, Thursday night kick against Sumter Central. What's the main focus this week? Just be better. Just be better and be prepared next Thursday night and go play, go be who we are. And uh, you know, I told our kids a while ago we're we're bleeding. What you gonna do now? You you're gonna just lay on the deck or you gonna get up and fight a little bit. And there's a lot of football left to play. You know, one loss don't knock you out of the playoffs, and one loss right now doesn't mean that you can't win the 5A state championship, and, and we're going to keep our goals intact tonight.